Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be looking at love, dating, relationships, and narcissists. So very excited to get into this video as usual. This is a theory. This is my own theory. It's an observation. So maybe it's accurate. Maybe it's not. You guys can take it if it resonates and leave it behind if it does not. It's one of my many theories. So if you guys enjoy videos like this, let me know and I'll let you guys know about other theories that I do have. So narcissists in Greek mythology, this was an individual, a young individual who had a lot of lovers, a lot of people who were interested in them and basically what ended up happening was they fell in love with their own reflection in the pond or the river whatever it was and they continued staring at this reflection for the rest of their life now back in the day what i first heard about this myth was that this individual actually ended up drowning because they were obsessed with their reflection now i looked it up i didn't see that anywhere so i'm not sure if that's actually part of the story but overall the idea is here this individual was obsessed with themselves and they rejected all these other romantic advances to continue staring at themselves in the reflection now what does this mean Mean. This is going to be more so a metaphor for everything that I'm going to tie in together for you guys here. It's just a theory, but something that I've observed is a lot of the time we're going to see couples who either look alike or if they don't look alike, they kind of have the same vibrational like imprint, if that makes sense. Like, it almost feels like they're vibrationally part of like the same, I guess what we would call it a soul family or a soul group or something of the sort. So that's even if they don't look alike, but sometimes you do see couples who do look similar. Now there's, I'm sure a lot of biological theories as to why this is. I like to look at things from a metaphysical perspective. So this might be a little out there for some people, but what my personal theory always has been, it has been that we as individuals are always seeking through other people to fall in love with ourselves. That is where that whole theory of narcissist comes from. It's like you're always seeing the reflection of you within other people. And a lot of the time I see to people, especially if they become super obsessed with someone or like they're really admiring someone or like, I idolizing them even. What I always suggest to these people is what do you see in that person that's lacking within you? A lot of the time I find relationships to be an energy exchange in a sense, especially even attraction. It's like a lot of the time that intense magnetic attraction happens because that person has something in their energy field that is lacking within you and maybe vice versa. Maybe you have something that's lacking for them and then you guys start dating and eventually if you guys get intimate, you exchange energy and through all these sorts of experiences, we're getting closer and closer and closer to that whole energy of the self. So when I see love dating and relationships and all these sorts of things, I have a little bit of a different perspective on it. I do feel like through media and all these sorts of things, we are fed a story that you're meant to be with one person forever. Now I do have theories about that as well different video for a different day. I have a lot of theories about a lot of things, you guys. I swear I've had a lot of scientists' past lives where I always theorize about something. But anyways, it's interesting. You'll see in people's natal charts that they're going to have karmic lovers come through, or they're going to have a lot of karmic relationships, or they're going to have a lot of people that they have to clear karma with. So it's like, in this situation, it's not necessarily realistic. And, you know, really putting people into a box, like, again, limits the soul expression and limits the expression of the soul and whatever that soul was meant to learn here. Now, a few times here and there in my videos, I have slipped in that Personally, I view relationships as vehicles. They're meant to get you to the next place, to the next place, to the next place. This is a metaphor. It is not an objectification of relationships. It's a metaphor as in like, again, they're taking you to the next place and bringing you closer to yourself, to that complete energy that you're basically seeking. I feel like through other people, we're getting closer to ourselves. They're gonna show us our triggers. They're gonna show us our shadow traits. That's why a lot of the time you might even have people who have like a fear of intimacy, especially intimacy. When I say intimacy, it's not just sexually. It's like a fear of being close to another person, a fear of being vulnerable and experience exposing these things because I've actually wrote this in one of my books. I can't remember which one it was in. It could have been the first one, but basically what came through was like people who fear love and actual love is that they fear actually being seen and actually having their triggers exposed and having their shadows exposed to another person. So it's kind of like the more that you integrate your shadows and your triggers and all these sorts of things, the easier it is for you to come to this love vibration and this love frequency. Currently, if we see a lot of people in relationships and honestly, no disrespect to people out there, again, just an observation. But what I've observed is a lot of people, it's not its not really the word subtle. It's just kind of like they're not in loving situations. They're in situations that make sense, that are comfortable, maybe financially comfortable, maybe the family like that person, maybe society reasons all of like these little constructs that we have and honestly over an extended period of time you definitely can fall in love with anybody when you feel integrated on your own you're able to be in healthy dynamics where you're not in that energy where it's like oh like if this person leaves it's the end all and be all or it might be challenging to leave certain situations or maybe you've outgrown the person that's the thing this is what i mean by like when i say relationships are vehicles i personally do believe that certain people are here to serve us for an extended period of time or it could even be a brief period of time and when that contract the soul contract is complete they're going to leave your life this can be in friendships this can be in all relationships 
it doesn't necessarily just have to be in romantic relationships. For some people, this can play out in friendships as well. But that's kind of like the whole thing here. And it relates back to what I was saying originally in the beginning, where it's like through these situations, we're trying to integrate ourselves. We're trying to learn ourselves. We're trying to figure out ourselves through relationships. We learn all these sorts of things where it's like they are our reflection, which goes back to the narcissist theory. And I do feel like if we were to perceive relationships in this way, it would be a little bit easier. It wouldn't be so cathartic, you know, where it's like, oh my gosh, I love you and I hate you and I want to be with you, but we can't be together. And all of these things, especially in the new age, a lot of these things where it's like, oh, we can't be together for all of these socioeconomic reasons. If you guys catch my drift of a certain type of, you know, this, there's only one person for you and nobody else is going to align with you. And this is the person that's meant for you. I'm sure you guys are following. A lot of people get sucked into this belief. And honestly, I feel like it's a deception. Honestly, I do. I really do. At the end of the day, like I always look at everything. I look at the metaphysical reasoning behind all things and why are we really here as individuals i think it's a soul growth journey i think it's an evolutionary journey i think different people have different contracts with different people i think if you're an older soul you're here to clear a lot of karma with a lot of individuals that's why there's going to be a lot of relationships maybe not romantic it could be friendships as well or it can just be people like your colleagues or whoever it is because it's like through these things you're being shown who you are it's the reflection of you but not only that it's going to show you your blind spots it's going to show you your wounds it can show you where you may have trauma bonded with a person but I'm sure you guys are following what I'm saying. So it's really through relationships for healing. And one more thing that I will say to you guys, love and control cannot coexist together. This is another thing that's been coming through this entire week. They cannot coexist in the same vicinity. So if you're trying to control your partner or your partner's trying to control you, even if it's covert, like secretive and hidden, or maybe you guys aren't aware that you're doing this, it's not a loving relationship is really what it is. And it's interesting because when I did the Venus and Aquarius video, you know, a lot of the time people talk about Aquarius energy being detached. But honestly, what I was tapping into was a very futuristic type of love, a very healthy type of energy where it's like okay we're here to elevate together we're here to be able to reach higher dimensions together because you're actually in that love frequency but a lot of things on this earth plane currently have been wounded a lot of people have been wounded and that's really all by design but again i'm not going to go too much into that i have a whole metaphysical playlist you guys can check out if you want to learn more about all these sorts of things that have been taking place here so because of this it's like people are seeking this they're seeking that love that love vibration but it's like at the same time there's a lot of things that need to be integrated and healed to get to this vibration so this is why you're going to go through a lot of these dynamics maybe your friendships or whatever it is and it goes back to narcissists it doesn't mean you're a narcissist okay don't get me wrong it doesn't mean you're in love with yourself it's the theory of it all it's the metaphor of it it's the metaphor of that story and it's interesting because it actually does tie into narcissists who do pick up on wounds that a person might have and they play on those wounds or they pick up on maybe something you're looking for they play that up or they reflect back to you again things that you might see in yourself that's another thing that also happens in narcissistic dynamics the narcissistic person what you're admiring in them and you think is like so amazing it's a reflection of you that's really what that is and that's the biggest thing to learn and especially if you're someone who has a healing energy you might be attracted to individuals like this because you might feel like your healing energy is going to heal that person but that person is just going to drain you i have a whole video on narcissism on the earth plane you guys can check it out i'm not going to go too much into that in this video but i wanted to kind of connect all the dots for you guys where it's like we're healing through relationships we are seeing reflections of ourselves within other people but you really really admire someone and you know it might even go into that obsession energies because there's something Something within them that you admire that maybe you're lacking or you wish to be like or you know it's there but it's benign and they've like awakened this quality within you relationships are going to be vehicles they're going to take us from certain destinations in our life to the next destination they're here to help us heal help us grow show us our shadows our shadow traits so again it comes back down to a completion of the self i'm not saying in this video that you're not meant to be in relationships we need relationships i'm just saying that there's a certain journey that it takes you on until you get to a healthy place and then you're able to maybe be in a healthy dynamic in a dynamic where again this that venus and aquarius energy if you guys want to tap into the potential of future and what relationships may look like in the future definitely check out that video when i recorded that video really took me into my crown chakra because it's very healthy it feels very very healthy where it's like everyone's roaming around no one's checking each other's phones like things like this so my dear friends i'm going to wrap up this video here i do hope you enjoyed my video on love dating relationships and narcissists if you guys did please do like share and subscribe and i hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day